as they do. It is not a pleasant thing to be endowed with the gift of under, over, intra, and farsight of the soul. For the people cry, crucify him, crucify him, and do it. These identical seers, who all of them have had lived since the tragedy on Calvary, possess the only power and methods of substantiating God's lessons and demonstrating what the blind world has but made a rough guesses at have been ever martyred instead of being met with hailed with gratitude and joy. Instead of that, the world does its best to injure and destroy both them and their testimony. Yet nevertheless, so long as God will give me strength and the earth afford me means, I shall never cease my efforts until the last disease is conquered, the last crime committed, and the last injustice done. The last mass said, the last skeptical doubt removed, and the last thief of criminal born, the last gallows erected, and the last victim strangled. I shall not stop till the last war is fought, and the last false doctrine is dead, and the last badly organized child has gone to heaven, and universal good reigns over every field of earth. The inquiry is often made. Suppose that seership is true. What then? Qui bono? The sapient philosophers who propound such queries remind the writer of a story told with infinite gusto by Laird, the explorer of the ruins of the Nineveh, a city built some thousands of years before the good old days of Adam and Eve. The story is told of Imamu Alizadeh, a Turkish Kadai. Mr. Layard, in his oriental explorations at Nineveh and Babylon, addressed certain inquiries to his Kadai in reference to the commer commerce and antiquities of the city which he resided. To these inquiries, the Turkish philosopher replied by the following letter. It is easy to imagine the flickering expression on the face of our conservative friends as they read this letter, not knowing the first whether to laugh at the stupidity of the Turk or to compliment him on his pious oriental philosopher who has forcibly expressed his own sentiments in reference to the folly of modern science. My illustrious friend and a joy of my liver, the thing you asked of me is both difficult and useless, although I have passed all my days in this place. I have neither counted the houses nor have I inquired into the number of inhabitants. And as to what one person loads on his mules, and the other stows away in the bottom of his ships, that is no business of mine. But, above all, as to the previous history of this city, God only knows the amount of dirt and confusion that infidels may have eaten before the coming of the sword of Islam. It is where unprofitable for us to inquire into it. O oh, my soul! O oh, my lamb! Seek not after the things which concern thee not. Thou camest unto us, and we welcome thee. Go in peace. Of a truth thou hast spoken many words, and there is no harm done. For the speaker is one, and the listener another. After the fashion of thy people, thou hast wandered from one place to another, until thou art happy and contented in none. We, praise to be God, we were born here, and never desire to quit it. It is possible, then, that the idea of general intercourse between mankind should make an impression on our understandings. God forbid. Listen, O oh my son! There is no wisdom equal to the belief in God. He created the world, and shall we liken ourselves unto him he in seeing to penetrate into the mysteries of creation? Shall we say, Behold this star spinneth round that star, and this other star that the tail goeth and cometh in so many years? Let it go. He from whose hand it came will guide and direct it. But thou wilt say to me, Stand aside, O man, for I am more learned than thou art, and have seen more things. If thou thinkest thou art in respect more learned than I am, thou art welcome. I praise God, and I seek not that I require not. Thou art learned in things I care not for. 
And as for that which thou hast seen, I defile it. Will much knowledge create thee a double belly? Or will thou seek paradise from thine eyes? O oh, my friend, if thou wilt be happy, say there is no God but God. Do no evil, and thus wilt thou fear neither man nor death. For surely thine hour will come. The meek and the spirit. El Fakir. Imam Ali Zadeh. Mankind clothe their ignorance by all comprehending term mystery, which is both another name but name for ignorance. When they find a subject baffling their powers of comprehension, they are ever ready to exclaim, It is a great mystery beyond the ken of reason, and it is a great sacrilege to attempt to reveal it, for God has concealed it from human effort. Alas, for, for human ignorance, crushing the millions down, down the dark and loathsome ways of death. Alas, for human weakness, grasping the shadow while the substance passes by unobserved. If we will live long, we shall know much. The world is better than it once was. It is worse than it will be in by, by and by.